Shalom, we praise you to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, El Shai, Ba Hashem, Ha Rakah Kudash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of great most on rule well. And Shalom to the whole full elect. This is Paya Allah. And um, the title of this video will be determined and upload. What I want to go into is basically the misinformation, all right? The iconoclasm, the deception that's gone out into the world via Esau Edom, the so called white man as he's known today. But Esau, or the Edomites being the race known as the so-called white people in accordance with the Holy Bible, all right? Because everyone has a biblical nationality. That's why if you don't, if you don't look at it from the perspective of biblical nationality, when you read about the Edomites, the Gergeshites, and the Perovisites and all these different nations, you just think it's a made-up, you know, waffle. But if you actually understand that these are still people here today, but through the course of history over the hundreds and thousands of years of the earth, all right, recording history of man, that, you know, names have been changed and all that kind of good stuff, then you'd understand that these people are still here. And those people I mentioned have this, their, their key instruments from the heavenly father to actually deceive the masses of the people because we're in a time of evil all right where he's basically being unleashed to deceive the masses all right and that's why i'll read this quote from um winston churchill and i'll read into it. it says history is written by victors the quote gets attributed to winston churchill but its origins are unknown it implies that history is not grounded in facts all right, that's the main point, and I'm going to show you that in this video. Rather, it's it's the winner's interpretation of them that prevails. The victors can force their narrative down on the people, and that's why you have this. I'm probably going to upload this as a clip as well. It's known as the clock doll experiment. All right, and basically, it shows you the effects of the victors ruling over us. All right, the losers. All right. In this scenario, uh, the children of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, who are tr whose true identity is the 12 tribes of Israel, all right, shows you how you have these um, so-called black babies, all right, toddlers, that basically think, want to play with white dolls, think the white dolls are good, and think, don't want to play with the black dolls, and they think the black, black dolls are evil. And then it usually was rounded off by them being asked, what colour are you? And they say black. So it shows you that history, all right, is written by the victor. And they've definitely, you know, instilled their doctrine into the minds of the people. So I've got a few precepts to build upon that point. Lord willing, be edified. This is Job 9.24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, as I mentioned before. Who's ruling the earth, all right? Who has power over the earth? Who would you say is that, that the power is in that, the world is in their hand? Esau Edom, the so-called white man, all right? Well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to break it down very simply. It says, he covereth the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? So just harping back on the point of the wicked, it tells you in the book of Malachi, the first chapter, that basically uh, Jacob has the most high love and Esau has the most high hated. And he made their them a, a desolation in the wilderness that they would come back and rebuild and wherever they build would be known as the borders of wickedness that's why no matter where Esau goes especially in this modern day world he basically perpetuates evil upon the earth and that's why it's shown in what in um, Planet of the Apes he's known as a harbinger of death all right which I believe the word harbinger basically means bringer of death in it. Uh, binger. A person that announces or signals the approach of another, a forerunner of something. All right. You know? So they bring that. All right. So it says, he covereth the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? All right. So if it, if it isn't this man that's actually covering the face of the judges, who would it be? And it could only be Esau Edom because he is in his might. He exercises a thing known as iconoclasm, which basically is the defacing 
of art, all right, and basically re reinstilling it, all right, or reimagining it with their imagery. So Shakespeare is reimagined as a so called white man when he was black. Yahweh Shai, our Lord, the multi power, Yahweh is reimagined as white people, all right, as opposed to their true identity as Israelites, all right, or should I say the chosen, having melanin, you know, being dark skinned, all right. So it says, and this is being done why? Because we're in a time of evil and this man has to deceive the masses of the people. If not, where and who is he? All right, so let's go to this example of this happening that shows it. Very well. So it's the book of First Maccabees 3 and 45. Now your Shalom lay void as a wilderness there was none of her children that went in or out. The sanctuary also was trodden down, and aliens kept the stronghold. And when he mentions aliens, what is it speaking about? It's speaking about who? The the the, uh, the Greeks that basically came in and subdued the land in accordance with, you know, the history you go into, you read it. All right? The heathen had their habitation in that place, and joy was taken from Jacob, and pipe with the harp ceased. Right, showing you that Israel had a certain type of spirit when they dealt with music, they dealt with it for what for um a joyous occasion. That's why I told you in the book of Psalms that you know by the rivers of ba Babylon where they wept, remembering Bab um, um, remembering Zion, and they hang they hung their um their instruments in, in the willows, right, because they required a song, and they said, How could we sing our songs? You know, that remind us of the motherland in the place of our captivity, all right? Showing you they had a bit of, well, not even a bit. They did have a lot of decorum, all right? And, and you know, they held themselves to a hell, uh, high esteem. Whereas in this kingdom, all you get from Jake is a song and dance, even when you don't want it. Wherefore, the Israelites assembled themselves together and came to Masfa over against Shirash Alam, for in Masfa, was the place where they prayed aforetime in Israel. And they then they fasted that day and put on sackcloth and cast ashes upon their heads and rent their clothes and laid open the book of the law wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their Im images. All right, so that's, this is being the key point. All right, you basically had the heathen nations. And this is saying ain't new. All right, but I mean, obviously, because in somewhere now, but going back then, this is what Esau done, being the deceiver that he is. He opened the book of the law and said, yep, this is what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to paint all of these men in accordance with who we are, all right? And so the new children that be born, remember they said if they were circumcised, they'll, they'll, they'll murder them, all right? They would, and history shows, tells the tale, that when they were born, they were born with uh, Greek names, all right, and spoke Greek. And basically became Hellenized, all right? That's why you have Helen and Hellenistas, all right? Due to the great, great Hellenization of our people. But that was because why they, they knew that we have to wipe out the culture of, of Israel and establish a Greco-Roman or Hellenized people, all right? So it says, verse 49, they brought also the priest's garments and the first fruits and the tithes and the Nazarites they stirred up who had accomplished their days. Then cried they with a loud voice toward heaven, saying, What shall we do with these, and whither shall we carry them away? For thy sanctuary is trodden down and profane, and thy priests are in heaviness and brought low. And lo, the heathen are assembled together against us to destroy us what things they imagine, erect, against us thou knowest and and we like i mentioned those things they imagined them and they succeeded all right for a season how shall we be able to stand against them except thou O yahweh be our help all right so i want to nip it in the bud with the scripture here The book of Psalms 47 says, Then said I, Lo, I come 
in the volume of the book it is written of me as a spirit descending upon ascending upon well resting upon the king david and basically saying look you know if yahweh shai speaking right lo i come in the volume of the book it is written of me all right now inside of the book this is how you get around the imagery that's being presented is modern day. It was shown historically. It happened back in the Gre Greco-Roman Empire. But today, what is it shown as? It's shown as um, with Caesar Borgia, Jesus Christ, right? Or uh, Rappers Christus, which basically, Yahweh Shai, when you go into the Bible, it shows you the true Yahweh Shai. That's why it's, the Lord said, Then said I, lo, I come. In the volume of the book, it is written of me. If you want to really find Yahweh Shai, you have to open a book and read. All right? That's where you'll find him. Okay? I delight to do thy will, O my power. Yea, thy law is within my heart. All right? And that's another thing you can see by the characteristics of Yahweh Shai. Everything that pertains to the truth of the Bible is written inside of the Bible. The true imagery of Yahweh Shai, the true characteristics of Yahweh Shai is all shown in the Bible. When you open that book and you read it, then when you see Jesus Christ, all right, even Muhammad, all these different things, and mainly Jesus Christ, then you know that it's a fallacy, it's a lie, because it doesn't line up. He doesn't look like him, nor does the behaviors fit the the, the bill in terms of what Yahweh Shai is. I preach righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips. O Lord, Yahweh, all right, thou knowest. I have not hid thy righteousness with my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. Yeah, but you have to seek it. Seek and you shall find, all right? Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. But there has to be some due diligence that needs to be done. The groundwork needs to be done to find it because it is not readily available to everyone. I have not concealed thy love and kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. All right, and it will be found if you are of the children of the elect. All right, if you are Salakia, so if you are of the elect. All right, because the truth is out there. God is the most high power, who they call God, is a so called black man. His son, Yahweh Shai, is only begotten, is also a so called black man. All right. And these things can be found very simply and plainly if you read the scriptures. All right. And even the video, Scrappy mentioned that he knows they were Kemet, but now how would they bring a white person in there? Well, they wouldn't. All right. Because they'll stick out like a sore thumb if they're trying to hide away from um, Herod. All right. They would have just had people just say, hey, there's. Some family that protect, that belongs to your land. What are they doing over here? All right? But that just shows you everything. That the true Jews, the Israelites of the Bible, are men of color. And specifically, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So with that, I pray you are edified to the next one. Say shalom, shalom.